Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because I am here to do another period product review for you. I heard you all in my last video. I read all the comments that come in, even if I don't get a chance to respond back to them, whether that's for my own mental sanity or time or whatever reason. And I heard you all. I get it. My videos are not as effective to some of you unless I show you guys me, you know, throughout my period using the products, whether that's just vlogging my experience or actually showing you the blood. Like, I get it. I tried it a different way in the last review and it didn't translate as well to a lot of you guys. And, you know, I, I make these videos for, for you guys. I don't necessarily need to test out new period products for myself because I found ones that I really enjoy and love, but I like being able to, you know, share new products with you guys and help you guys on your period journey. So, you know, I make these videos for you. I've done a lot of research on the back end of, you know, what's acceptable on YouTube in regards to protecting my channel and hoping that it doesn't get shut down for, you know, showing real blood and things like that and bodily fluids. And I think my best course of action, my best course of action is going to be to list these videos, specifically the period ones, as educational videos and to remind everybody at the beginning of every video, which is what I'm going to do now, these videos are made for education purposes only, not for entertainment. There will be real blood and bodily fluids shown. I will leave a link underneath this video if you'd like to skip to the end at which you can hear the final thoughts and I will give you a clear warning of when the real blood will begin. But with that being said, it doesn't protect them from getting demonetized, which most of my videos are now either demonetized or, or, or on limited to no ads because they've been flagged by other people or by YouTube or what have you. So in regards to keeping these videos coming for you guys, in regards to keeping my channel running, I've thought about a lot of different things to do. A lot of you guys think that I should start a Patreon account. I've already expressed that that is not something that I want to do. I want my videos to be able to be available to anyone who wants to watch them for free because that's just who I am. I don't ever want to exclude people because of their finances or whatever. Me and John are trying to get out of debt right now. I totally get it. I want you guys to be able to watch my videos and enjoy them uh, without having to pay for them necessarily, which is why ads on YouTube are so great. But because these videos are getting demonetized and because I don't want to go to Patreon, all I'm going to ask is that if you guys enjoy my videos, these period product review videos, or my, you know, women's health videos that are being demonetized, if you enjoy them, if you found them useful or educational, if you found a product through them that has changed your life, feel free to donate to my Venmo or my PayPal underneath this video. You know, buy me a cup of coffee. Send a dollar, send two dollars, whatever, if my videos have helped you. So many of you guys are like, I'd be willing to pay for Patreon, this and that. You know, I don't, I don't want that. I just want to be able to make these videos and continue on my channel. And again, if my videos are helpful, great, support the video. But you know, I only want, I only want, I only want support if they're helping you. I don't want people to feel like they have to give or that my videos need, you know, whatever, uh, just because I'm making them. I want to help you guys. I want my videos to be helpful to you. So if that's the case, if you want to continue seeing these videos, and again, if they've made some type of difference in your life, feel free to donate underneath this video to help these videos keep going. Um, but you don't have to. Again, you don't have to. And I'm only going to be doing this on my period videos because they seem to be the ones that are most controversial and keep getting demonetized and the ones that are, you know, making other videos just kind of, uh, you know, the logistics. It's YouTube. So there you have it. With that being said, I will continue these videos for you guys because I because I'm Kelly. I don't know when to say no. <laughs> um, that sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. I just, I just want to be helpful to you guys. I just want to be helpful. And you know what? Again, a little bit goes a long way. If every single person who ever watched one of these videos, you know, just chipped in 50 cents, a dollar, you guys can probably do the math. But um, yeah, so for everyone who's asked, how can we help? How can we help? How can we do this? There you have it. But let's get right into the review. Like I said, 
I documented everything with this and again part of it was peer pressure not gonna lie you guys are very effective I will admit I want to keep you guys happy I want to make these videos helpful to you guys because again I make them for you so part of it was that and also part of it was if I were to be watching a review on this new product I would want to see the proof because it is such a unique and different product than what I have done before that I just would want to know if it works so a lot of you guys and I mean a lot, actually messaged me sending me pictures of this little guy. Little gal? Thing? This is the Nixit. You guys have been asking me for a review on this for a while now, and Nixit actually had been following me on Instagram, so when my last review came out, they contacted me after one of you guys actually specifically tagged them, and were like, hey, you know, can we can we send you something to review? And I looked at their website, I looked at their Instagram, I looked at some, you know, see what information was out there already on it, and there wasn't a lot. So if you're not familiar with what the Nixit is, the Nixit looks like this, and they call themselves a reusable menstrual cup. Now, there's been, uh, mm, here's the thing. Okay, so there's been websites that would, who would disagree and call this a reusable menstrual disc. You guys know I'm not fond of menstrual discs. I have tried the Soft Cup and the Flex Fit, and I don't like Flex Fit because of the company itself. I don't like putting this Nixit in the menstrual disc category. They want to be called a menstrual cup. I think that they should be allowed to be call themselves a menstrual cup. If you look at the definition of a cup, it's a shallow thing that you drink out of. You could do that with this. Uh, it is reusable. This is a suction free cup. It goes in, the way that you put it in is that it sits underneath your cervix at an angle so that it stops everything from coming down, you know, and it catches all of it. It doesn't need any suction to stay in place. The pubic bone holds it in place, which is really, really nice. They have all different color boxes, but the actual Nixit itself is all the same color. They're all this nice red or pink period, get it? period. I like that. Like their branding and packaging is very, very nice. Like it's, it's very on point. I like it. I'm feeling it. Um, and it does feel very high end when you get it. The price point on this is a little bit steep. Not going to lie. I believe it's $49.99 or something like that. It's like around $50, but I will say that I get it. I get it because they didn't skimp on anything when it comes to this product whatsoever. So you open this box up. It's a nice magnetic box so you're like you feeling like oh this is a fancy period and then underneath here you get your very very nice high quality bag like this is a very nice high quality bag I'm not sure if they have all different color bags this is just the one that was in this box I don't want to open the other boxes if I don't have to because I am going to gift those to two friends and family um, and keep one for my wall yes I know it sounds weird but I try to keep at least one unused cup for my wall in my office as kind of like not trophy wall, but just kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a trophy wall. You also get directions in here as well that I love. I love these directions. They are very clear and to the point. They're very graphic so you can see everything. So even if you're not understanding the words necessarily or you can't compute two and two, which sometimes I have those days where I can't either, they have very clear, like fun looking, bright colors for how to prepare your cup and how to put it in. Again, I'm calling this thing a cup because to me it just, it's, it's, it's a cup. I get it. It inserts differently. It looks different but I think it's less confusing to call this a non-suctioning cup so that's what I'm gonna call it also again the company wants to call it a menstrual cup you go ahead nix it and you call it a menstrual cup it's got a really nice flexible rim size wise comparison it's exactly the same size as the soft cup slash flex fit slash soft disc it's the same exact circumference they both can be worn up to 12 hours the difference is, is this one like I said sounds like wrapping paper on Christmas morning this one can hardly hear. The bottom of the Nixit feels very similar to the soft, very buttery soft Intamina um, silicone, like that very thin, just very flexibleness in that Lily Compact on the walls that I, you know, felt. Um, they're very, very similar. I had a fear of it being a little bit too delicate and maybe sticking my almond shaped nails to them when I was inserting, but I didn't have any issue. It's pretty durable. I wouldn't like jab something sharp through here, however, but it is very durable even though it's very, very soft. Uh, the rim on it, this one is a lot, a lot firmer. This one's super soft, this one's firm. This does not hold its shape as well as this, as you can see. This is now an oval. This is now a nice like 
circle again, which I mentioned this in that review of the soft cup slash flex fits, whatever. I mentioned that because it didn't hold this when you did reinsert it, I didn't feel like it was as effective. This, however, solves that problem because it does bounce back to the original shape inside you. And when you pull it out, this doesn't have that issue. So rim already beats this one. This also has a nice little indented rim right here. I didn't really understand it until I went to use it, but this actually comes in really handy in regards to taking the tip of your finger and getting it in a good position to push it in. When I was trying to push in the soft cups and the flex fits, I noticed my finger kept slipping either up or down. So this is actually really, really nice in regards to having to grab it to pull it down a little bit to get it out or to push it in. Design wise, I love everything about this. I did give this a really good try. So I'm excited for you guys to see the upcoming clips and to see the ending clip. Um, like I said, I do show my real blood. So if you're squeamish, don't watch. I really do show everything because this cup you need to, I feel like, to actually show the efficacy of it. Um, I will say, if, for those of you who always say, oh, you hardly bleed, this and that, tis true. Some periods, I hardly bleed. Some periods, I bleed a lot, however, and some periods are just, like, normal. I will say, for people who keep asking me in prior videos, I have endometriosis. I've suffered with it for a very long time. I started my period when I was in third grade, summer before fourth grade, so I was very young. I was like 10. I always had heavy bleeding. I had an ablation, which helped a little bit, but my periods came back less than a year later. Um, I was on hormones. I donated eggs. Like, my period has been all over the place. It has not been this consistently lighter, however. It has not been this consistently short. It has not been this consistently manageable until I switched to all products. So with that being said, yes, my period may seem light to a lot of you guys. And you know, a lot of people are always like, oh, you're so lucky, you're so lucky. I paid my dues, all right? I paid my dues. I had my heavy periods, my super duper like blowout, embarrassing, ruined chairs in public periods. I had those from childhood on. Um, but yes, I've had done a lot of things to lighten my period to where it is now. So I get it. I get heavy periods. When you see the amount of blood that's in here, just remember, yes, my periods are more manageable now and like healthier in regards to how much I bleed, but this is a lot wider than the base of an actual cup. So cups are gonna make it seem like there's more blood, Peri tampons are gonna seem like there's more blood, whereas this is gonna seem like there's less blood because it is dispersed more in a wider cup surface area. Skip now, right now, right now, to the link underneath here if you wanna see my end thoughts and kind of my tips and tricks on how to get it in easier and all that good stuff. Just click that link underneath here. But again, warning, blood is coming, blood is coming. No need to flag this video because I'm warning you, blood is coming. All right guys, so I decided to open the tealish looking Nixit box. I like the directions a lot. The box looks like this. This actually was like that when I opened it. And then this lifts out and you get a really nice bag. I feel kind of fancy. Very hip and fancy is what this period's gonna be. I'm headed out to do yoga, so I am gonna put this in because I'm supposed to start my period today or tomorrow, and I don't, I don't know. I do have a thong period panty on right now, and so we will see. I just wanted to test to see how comfortable this was while exercising, and why not start now? You know? So, we'll see. It matches my nails. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Still good to eat. <laughs> it's on the clock. I'm going to attempt to put this inside this. Gotta go to the bathroom real quick, just in case. All right, hands are washed. So the directions, which I left downstairs, John. I basically know. You just squeeze it like this. John's coming. Thank you. My pants are already down. I didn't want to walk downstairs. Oh, you brought everything but the directions. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Love you. If you'd like to fill my water bottle, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, okay. All right, so oh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna squat down or sit down and push it in and push it up. I'm pretty sure it's in. All right, so it's in. <laughs> Sorry, I had to like feel down there. It's in, but it feels like it's like smushed up there, if that makes sense. Like. With the flex fit and with the with the flex fits and soft cups, those rings were a lot more rigid. Sorry, I'm pulling up my pants. <laughs> those rings were a lot those rings were a lot more rigid and more firm. This 
rim is so soft and malleable that it like, I don't know if I, I'm hoping it's in there the right way, but it kind of almost feels like it might be like squished into a ball in there. I don't feel it, so that's good news. I've actually been home for like the last hour and a half kind of cleaning and I ate a quick snack. Yoga went really, really well. I actually forgot about the fact that I had the Nixit in me. Like I just forgot while I was practicing, which actually is good. That means I'm becoming a little bit more mindful in my yoga practice, which is always nice. But um, yeah, I didn't feel it one bit. I'm starting to have some cramping right now. Do you feel, I do feel my period coming on. I haven't checked the Nixit. I could already be bleeding. I don't know, but I gotta go pick up the kids real quick. So I'll check it when I get home. All right guys, so it's actually, I got distracted. Kai's got a little friend over. Um, it's 524. I got distracted. So I'm gonna pull this thing out. Again, I feel heavy. I feel like maybe I started my period, but so far nothing's leaking. I'm sitting on our basically white sofas, nothing, no problems. All right, so I just peed and I don't feel, this is the second time I've peed with it in and I don't feel it coming out at all. Like there's no slipping or anything like that. I'm gonna bear down just a little bit, try to get it out a little bit. Um, I feel it, but it's not like, come on, how do I get you out? <laughs> Uh, hold on. I'm trying not to like puncture the bottom of it with my nail. This is a problem with long nails. I think this is going to be the ish, the one like device that I can't use with super long nails. I started my period. I just, sorry. I think it's really cool when I like, I used to be totally not in tune with my body. So the fact that I am in tuned enough with my body to know exactly like when it's starting is kind of neat for me. So I want to show you this. Don't want to piss off mom and dad, but you know what? I'm gonna just show you it. I don't, screw it. So this is, maybe if it's not super up close, maybe YouTube won't get so offended. So this is interesting. So here's all the blood that has come down. Obviously I've, I must have just literally started. Very mucusy, very snotty. There's not a single drip of blood on the outside, but there is, as you can see, just like regular discharge. So. That to me is super interesting because it's just super interesting like that all the blood's on the inside and but there is still like discharge on the outside but there's no blood on the outside. So I am very much impressed, very much impressed so far. You know you started your period when all you're craving is like a whole roll of Thin Mints. Confident enough I'm sitting on my very light sofa. I don't feel it. Mm -hmm. It is actually almost 10 o'clock. I'm getting ready for bed, so I thought I would pull out this thing and update you. Cramping's actually gone away. Um, for first day period or starting period, I've actually had an okay period. All right, so there's nothing on my underwear or my thong, I should say. Yes, I'm wearing a period thong. That's good news. Stuck my finger in, I can feel it. This is the weird thing is I feel like I need to like I don't know. It's like really stuck behind my pubic bone, so I almost have to loop my finger on top of it and then pull it down carefully. Eee! Careful. I'm having like flashbacks to the soft cup and flex cup or flex fit where I pulled it out and like blood just got all over my hand. This one, not so much, but then again, I didn't really bleed that much into it. So again, I'm very early on in my period, so let's all remember that, okay? But blood around, no blood on the outside. Isn't that crazy? It's actually all on the inside. Even with Flex Fit and Soft Cup, there was blood like on the outside as well. It is still working and I didn't feel it and it stayed in, so that is pretty groovy. Guys, I have not looked like this in I don't know how long. <laughs> I had a rough last night. Ugh. <laughs> Our downstairs bathroom ceiling started caving in. And we were like, oh my god, what's happening? What is happening? The sink up here apparently has a broken pipe underneath it. So, yeah. And then I was in my office and I noticed a pool of water next to the washer. And we thought, oh, is that coming from the sink upstairs? No, it's coming from our water heater that now has a leak in it as well. So we have to replace that. 
Ugh. It was a long night last night. I cried a lot. I got upset. <laughs> it just feels like it's just, it's just, just, yeah. So luckily John put a band-aid on the sink up here so I can use it for this to rinse my cup out and stuff. Um, I went to bed at like two o'clock in the morning. It is now 10 a.m. So it's about eight hours. Let's go see what's in the cup. Feel fine. I don't feel it at all. I just, sorry, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. <laughs> yeah. So there is absolutely no leaking at all in my period underwear. I'm actually gonna show you because I'm so impressed. Like, that's impressive, no blood. I just wiped, there is no blood on the toilet paper. Uh, thing, if this has tons of blood in it, is gonna be amazing. Okay, so like I said, I realized that I kinda gotta loop my finger above it first and pull it out a little bit. Okay, so oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. Careful. Okay, shoot. So as I pulled it out, because I was pulling it down, because like I said, to be able to grab it with long nails, I had to put my finger above the rim and pull it downward and then out a little bit just to get like a handle on it. The blood started coming out into the toilet, which is fine. Like it wasn't getting all over my hand, it was going into the toilet. But I lost some blood to be able to show you, in other words. But this is, I know, don't mind my finger. But it did catch blood and half of it already spilled out into the toilet when I was pulling it out, which again, it's fine. It didn't fill out, spill out on the floor, it didn't get all over my hand, it was just in the toilet. And then the outside, there is blood coming down this rim right here on the outside, but again, I think that's because I pulled it out downward and then out. But it's relatively clean on the outside other than that one area. So, this, I am shocked. I am honestly really pleasantly surprised and very shocked and very happy so far. So I'm gonna put this baby back in and enjoy my period day and we'll see if it's leak proof when I'm more moderately bleeding while up and about. I have two soccer games I gotta coach today. My sisters are coming into town with my nephew. I got an active day. I'm gonna go shopping right now for lunch stuff that I'm making. So we'll see how this holds up. But again, I'm surprised. So I'm gonna put this back in. All right, kids, it is nine o'clock on a Saturday. I am going to check it, and I think this will be the last check-in because again, like after a couple days, it's like, why am I still doing this? Did you find it? Did I find what? Your retainer. I did, and I thought you were doing talk asking if I found my cup. Is it stuck in there? I'm about to see. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I did have a little bit of spotting, not a ton though, like literally just a little. I'm gonna call that a win because again, I always seem to have a little bit of spotting that, you know, it's not active, like it's not wet, it looks like it's drying, but I usually have a little bit of spotting just from, you know, rearranging it or going to the bathroom because I did go to the bathroom quite a few times today without like taking this thing out. I just kind of made sure it was in its place. So I'm not gonna complain about that because Again, I, I felt very comfortable in this and I knew I wasn't gonna overflow or anything. So let's go ahead and check the cup out real quick. I'm gonna try to pull the cup out, just going looping my finger under and not going over and see how messy it is. All right, so I'm already pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable on YouTube as it is, as I'm holding a bloody cup in my hand that I'm about to show you while sitting on the toilet after going to the bathroom. <sighs> So, but I wish I could have just shown, <laughs> I wish I could have, I wish I could, I don't know, I wish, mm, it's hard to explain, but when I pulled out the cup or started pulling it out, a huge blood clot came out, like a huge blood clot came out. I, I'm talking huge. Um, it just kind of slid out as I was pulling out the cup and went into the toilet. So definitely, definitely, definitely do not ever pull this thing out if you're not over a toilet or in the shower. It did catch the blood clot and then it did catch the blood. See, there's all the blood down there. It's relatively clean on the outside minus some like uh, colored discharge, but there's no like dark blood, all the dark blood's on the inside. So real quick, I just wanna say, this is like my what? One, two, like three or third or fourth time inserting the thing. And I don't know if it's because the swelling in my vagina has gone down or because I'm more comfortable or if it's because <sighs> I just am like feeling better, feeling less like it's fragile or something. I don't know what it is, but I just put that thing in 
so freaking fast, like faster than I've ever put any device in my vagina, minus a tampon. Um, it was super duper, duper easy, and I'm confident that it's in right, so that's pretty cool, and I don't feel it. <sighs> Seriously, guys, I don't understand it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. You watch those clips, you already know all that I'm about to tell you. Maybe not all, because I do have some things that I did not mention in those clips, but I love this cup. I kept saying in those clips that I was pleasantly surprised that I love this cup so much. Like, I was shocked. I, when I was contacted by the company, I'm always a little bit nervous, and especially ones that are smaller, is because I never want to be negative necessarily about a, a company. I say that as I just like dogged flex fits, but that's different, okay? That's different. But I don't usually like to be so negative about a company. So when they reached out and I saw them and I was like, oh geez, this is another flex fits or oh geez, like this is so gimmicky, it's not gonna work and I don't wanna have to be negative. I was very, very nervous. So I was very, very excited that this worked so well for me. If you saw in the clips, from the First day I tried this, I put it in and I had yoga and I hadn't started my period, but I felt, I knew in my deep down loins that I was gonna start my period. I put this in prior to a yoga class and I got home and when I checked it, sure enough, I had bled a little bit, but I didn't feel the thing at all during yoga. Like I did an active, like, I think like, three or four series of Ashtanga yoga, and I didn't feel this at all, and I wasn't even necessarily starting my period yet. It stayed in place, it was super comfortable. I don't even think I checked it right when I got home because I was like, well, what's the point? Like, I'm not bleeding, you know, I didn't leak into my period thong, like, I'm fine, why check it? I'll just wait till the evening. And when I did, there was blood because I'd started my period. So, it worked, I didn't have any leaking the first day. The second day, I was more moderately bleeding and it I didn't feel it all day. I left it in all day. I don't think I even really checked it halfway through. Maybe I did just for like video purposes, but each time I checked it, I had no leaking in my period panties whatsoever. I did have a smudge of spotting, I think overnight or something, uh, just because I say this all the time, whenever I'm readjusting, um, or I've just gone to the bathroom or for whatever reason, there's, you know, always like little, little parts of your period that are gonna come out, you know, from your vaginal walls of moving around, you know, and readjusting a cup or whatever is inside of you. Um, that's just gonna happen. That's why I always wear backups, I always wear period panties, period. And for those of you who keep asking, on that note, I do love the Mati Body ones. Those are the ones I've been using for the last year and a half. I will mention them in my favorites video that I have coming up, but those are the ones that I wear. But I always wear a backup for any type of device I'm ever wearing because why take the chance that you might bleed into, you know, whatever. I've had enough of those experiences growing up. I don't need them now as an adult. So with that being said, this thing was so comfortable. It was super effective. I just, I loved this cup so much. Day three of my period, still moderately bleeding. I didn't vlog it at all because I felt like I'd already shown you guys the, eff the effectiveness of it. Why keep repeating the same thing over and over again? But day three, I did find this cup's limitations for me. Not necessarily for everybody else, but for me. I played one double header of soccer and soccer games are 45 minutes long, no half times, no break. It's just consistent running, you know, maybe a few minutes on the bench when you sub out to catch a drink or your breath. But basically it was one after another game, 45 plus 45 is what, 90? So an hour and a half of just active sprinting, running, active sprinting, running, all of that good stuff. I am a mom, I've had three kids, so when I kick that ball really hard, sometimes a little pee comes out. I bear down a little bit too much and you know, things happen. <laughs> It happens, all right? Or I sneeze or laugh or, you know, jump, whatever. This thing did not budge at all. It stayed in place the entire time. The first game didn't feel it at all. Towards the end of the second game, however, again, I met my limitation with it. I should have, I think, in between games, gone to the bathroom and maybe push it up just a little bit because I was being so active. I think it did start falling down a little bit from behind my pubic bone and it did start rubbing and just kind of irritating down there a little bit. It was not to the point where I was in super amount of pain. It was not falling out whatsoever. It just was irritating a little bit. I got home, I emptied it, and then I put it back in and readjusted it and I felt fine. So like I said, my limitation with this is an hour and a half of active running, jumping, kicking, sprinting, being knocked over by bigger women, being thrown into walls, yeah. 
that that's the limit. An hour and a half of that is the limit for this cup for me without readjusting it. Did it hold on my blood, however? Yes. Did, was I comfortable after I, you know, reinserted it after going to the bathroom and emptying it? Yes. Did I love this cup? Yes. I did take notes throughout the process of this of things that I kind of wanted to mention to kind of stay on point with it. Again, I'm being very in depth with this and if this video is going long, I apologize, but because this is more on the pricey side and because this is not the usual menstrual cup, I want to be as specific as possible with it so that you guys can have all the details before spending that much money. I know a lot of you guys are college students. You contact me all the time. You're like, I'm on a fixed income. I'm a college student. I'm on this, I'm on that. I'm a single stay at home mom. I hear it all. I get it. You don't wanna waste your money. I don't want you to waste your money. So I'm gonna be as in-depth and honest about this as possible. Nixit does have a kind of return policy. It says on their website that if you try your Nixit three cycles and you've tried and asked questions with them and they haven't been able to help you and it's not working, they will try to sort out a return for you. I don't know what that specifically means exactly. I don't know what kind of cases that entails, but it does sound like they're willing to work with you because they're confident that their cup will work. I really like the cup. Just remember, I love this cup and I didn't think I would, but I do have some tips. So in regards to putting it in, it does say in their directions to hold it like this between your you know, pointer finger and your thumb and to insert it sitting down over a toilet, pushing it horizontally in and down until it hits the wall and then tuck it under your pubic bone. That does work, that does work, except for the fact that I do yoga. I would like to say that I'm pretty flexible for a 32 year old mom of three. I'd like to just, you know, I not the most flexible, but I think I'm pretty flexible in regards to average women. This, while sitting on the toilet angle, does not work for me. It just did, it, it didn't work. I will say that I had more success holding it like this, instead. So, you know, pinching it, holding it like this, and then inserting it in. And then as it was inserting into my vagina, then I took the tips of my fingers and continued by putting them in the rim, pushing it in and up, and then tucking it underneath my pubic bone. That's how I found it the easiest to do. I felt like when I kept trying to put it in like this, it just wasn't going in and I couldn't get the angle right and I just felt like I was failing. Second thing, I did struggle a little bit the first time putting it in over the toilet just because my vaginal walls were very swollen, especially because I hadn't started my period. They were swollen. Towards the beginning of my period, I've not really talked about this before because it's never been an issue, um, with the you know soft cup and the flex fit because the rim's so rigid and there's no like, I mean, you start pushing that in, there's no bending. Like there's no bending whatsoever, which I think again is why it was not as effective for me and why I leaked and why sometimes it was uncomfortable during that review. This, however, has lots of give to it, which is really good because that means it's gonna fit really nicely inside of you once it's in, but it also makes it a little bit difficult when you're putting it into a tight space that is maybe swelling like my vagina does when I'm at the beginning of my period. So this was the first time that my swelling ever had any issues, which is why I'm now mentioning it. But because of the swelling and because of the tight fit, it didn't wanna go in easily necessarily over the toilet. So what I did was I actually stood up, I got down and I grabbed the end of my sink. I'm gonna have to show you guys. I squatted down like this, like I would be on the toilet and I kind of leaned back holding onto the sink and that's when I inserted it in. So I inserted it again, again, holding it above the cup, not under, and then I held on and kind of pushed it in and then back and underneath the pubic bone. That by far was the easiest way that I could get it in in the beginning when I was just you know testing it out and it was first time using it and again because I was so swollen down there. I was also very swollen underneath my pubic bone which also made it harder to get it in. You know, I've had three kids. A lot of people assume like, oh, you've had lots of kids. You should be pretty big down there. That's not always the case. All right, guys, not always the case. So if you have the issue of getting in over the toilet and, you know, try a different hold, try holding it above instead of underneath. And then also try, you know, standing up and just like squatting down, but holding yourself and trying to relax, like relax into it. Like I had most of the pressure holding, but then I relaxed my base, if that makes sense. That for me was the easiest way to get it in. At the second, third time, it was going in like a snap. Like it was going in easier than a cup went in. It was going in just as easy as just like putting a tampon up there, which is 
really easy, which is why people like tampons so much. So those are my tips on how to put it in. If you feel frustrated, don't be frustrated. The one thing that I noticed with this, and I even said it to the owner when I was talking to her on Instagram, she asked me how I was doing, and I said I was doing fine, and I just told her that it felt like I maybe squished it in, because as you get it in, you know, it's a tight fit up there. People think that, you know, the pictures make your vagina look huge, but that's not always the case. That's not always the case. If you stick your finger up there, I feel my vaginal walls all the way around my finger. All right, guys? Like, I just do. So it's not this big gaping tunnel that these stupid pictures make you think they are. So when I push it in, you know, you feel it like hit and then you feel it squish and then you think that it's like this in your vagina. It's not though. That's the weird thing is when I did that and again, I told her like, oh, it felt like it was squished in there. It was probably more like this. And it did its job. It fit to where it needed to fit because it was so soft and malleable and flexible. And it was really nice. And it didn't need time for my body to warm up the rim for it to fit into those areas. It just fit from the get go. So um, if you feel like it's like squished in there and it's not done right, like, that may be the case, but if it's not hurting you, just try wearing it for like an hour. Again, I suggest all the time, like don't just wear a new period cup out with a white dress first time. Like try it at home, like at night when you're in your crappy PJs with a towel on your couch or on your bed. Um, but try it for a little bit and see, because I was pleasantly surprised that the first time I put it in, even though it felt like it was again, squished in like this, it actually was okay, it was fine. Taking it out was a little bit of a learning curve. As you guys know with the Flex Fits and the Soft Cups, Soft Discs, whatever. As you know with that product, I had the issue of the fact that like the second I pulled the thing out, no matter how slow I tried to pull it out, whatever, it just like splurted all over my hand. Like it was a murder scene down there. I believe those are the exact words I used a year or two ago when I did that review. So I was very, very worried about this and I was cautious about it. I was very cautious in how I pulled it out. Um, my advice and what worked best for me in pulling this out was, so it sits like this underneath your pubic bone. That's what you, that's what it set, shows in the picture. It probably doesn't though. Honestly, it probably sits, you know, who, depending on everyone's vaginas are different. It probably sits differently in everybody. But let's just say it sits like this. This is exactly the angle and everything. To get it out, what I did and found to be the most effective in keeping your hand clean was I slid my finger in like this, got the rim of it, pulled it out just a tiny bit, not even outside of my vagina, just a tiny bit, and then I leaned forward on the toilet and also pushed down on the front of this just a little bit. I made sure to keep my finger and hand out of the way and then in doing so, it dumped out half the blood in a huge ass blood clot. If you guys watch that uh, clip, it dumped out a huge blood clot and then a bunch of blood. And then after it did that for a second, again, you push it down a little bit and you lean forward. So that way all of your body's kind of gravity is helping it do its thing. Then after that, I slowly pulled it out. And then after it was halfway out of my vagina, cause it doesn't just fly out. I slowly pulled it out. And then after that, I pulled it out with my rest of my fingers like this. Then I grabbed for a piece of toilet paper, held it while I could wipe off the other finger because your finger's gonna get a little bit bloody. I do know that like the Flex Fits, the Soft Cup, and this company say that you can like kind of bear down a little bit on the toilet and lean forward, it will kind of empty itself. I tried that numerous times in different positions and it just didn't work. It took me physically sticking my finger in there again, looping it at the top a little bit, pulling it out, keeping my hand out of the way so the blood didn't get into it, and then pushing it down and leaning forward, then it emptied. I could never dislodge it, however, from my pubic bone on my own, bearing down as hard as I tried, which is a good thing. That means it stays in place, but I could never do that, so I don't know, I don't know how people do that, but I wasn't able to. So I did have to like empty a little bit. Like I said though, your finger is gonna get messy. My suggestion for you when you're taking this out or trying to empty it is I would just keep a wet nap with you at all times. Those things are really small. You can stick it in your purse. You can even stick one in your back pocket. You can stick one in your bra. You know, you don't have to have like a ton of them. Just keep like one or two wet naps. You shouldn't really have to empty or take your cup out, you know, unless you're a super heavy bleeder. And in that case, you know how long you can go. Just bring enough wet naps accordingly, but just bring a wet nap with you. And then after you, you know, deal with this, just wipe your finger off with a wet nap, throw the wet nap thing away, and then go out and wash your hands. They do suggest on the website, if you do are, if you are one of those people who are super heavy and need to change out your cup, you know, if you are out in public, maybe buy two of these. So that way you can pull it out, dump it and put your new one in. 
well that is a good idea for people who want to have more than one cup to begin with or maybe have the finances for it it's not always conducive for everybody i get that so for you who can only afford one cup or don't want to buy a second cup my suggestion to you is to just take your finger like i said pull it forward a little bit tip it down tip your body down let it empty wait for it to empty you'll be able to see because your legs will be spread apart look down there people are so scared to look down there look down there it's your blood it's your vagina like look down there you know let it empty and then i would suggest just like pushing it back behind your pubic bone pull your pants back up and go like don't even pull the whole thing out don't even like just tip it empty it push it back in if you have to do that maybe once an hour do that that's fine and then just wet nap your finger that's what i would suggest is the easiest way to deal with overflow you know and being out in public i love the fact that you can empty this without pulling the whole thing out Men traditional menstrual suctioning cups you can't do that you have to pull the whole thing out dump it stick it back in with this you can half empty it push it back in half empty it push it back in until you get home if you really need to i didn't think that this would work for me i really didn't i'm a happy suctioning menstrual cup user i didn't think that this would work it worked really well for me. I got the hang of it really quickly. It, again, inserted faster and easier than a cup. I didn't have to worry about getting it in the right position underneath my cervix. I didn't have to worry about making sure it was suctioned and in the right spot. Like, there was none of that to worry about. It just worked immediately for me. And again, like, I had a period thong on and an Ashtanga yoga with a man. Like, he was my teacher and I was scared crapless, but I still did it and it worked and I had no leaking whatsoever. Like I was very confident with this and that is, that's a lot to be said about a first time use of something so different like this for me. I think this is a great option for people who can't get a right seal in a cup. I think this is great. You don't have to worry about that. I think that this is a great option for people who maybe have a fear of getting a cup stuck. This thing's not going to get stuck anywhere. It's too big to get stuck. You know, it just sits right there behind your pubic bone. I think this would work really well for IUD users. Don't quote me on that. Everyone's different. But one of the concerns about IUD users is that, you know, the suctioning of the cup being too strong and pulling out ID, IUD or, you know, dislodging it or making it less effective it's not against suctioning so i think this would be safe for iud users it's a great option it's a great option um i really i really like this a lot <laughs> i really like this a lot and i was again a little bit of me was like oh please don't let me like this so much because i just did that rave review about salt cup that i love but i can't lie to you guys and i don't want to do a disservice to this company because i i really I really liked this a lot. I will say in the future, I don't think that this will last as long as a traditional menstrual cup, just because the material down here is so thin, I think that it's going to wear and tear faster than a traditional cup, so you will probably have to replace this more. With that being said though, I don't know how often. So, so $50 if you have to spend that once a year, which a lot of regular cup users do anyways because they like to collect cups and get obsessed with them. $50 is still just $50 for convenience, comfort, peace of mind, saving mother nature, you know, spending money every month, stress about running out of tampons or pads or what have you. Like, it's still, I think, worth it. If the last thing that Nixit does advertise is that you can have mess-free sex with this device. FlexFit does that as well. Soft Cup does that as well. FlexFit, that was like their huge campaign was mess-free sex. Again, I just don't believe that's mess-free. Granted, I have not tried it and I did not try it with this. I will say, however, that if I was going to try to have period sex with a device in, I would choose this over the Soft Cup or the FlexFit. And I'm only saying that because this is a whole lot softer than this rim in general. But I did not try this. I did not try this, even for review purposes, I did not try this for mess free sex. Maybe I will in the future, if I ever do, I'll let you guys know, but I just am not one of those people who gets in the mood when I'm on my period. For right now, it's just not, not something that I'm like, ooh, I'm on my period, I need to have sex, I'm in the mood. So um, even reviews, even for you guys, it's not worth forcing myself to do something that I don't necessarily wanna do. So, um, but again, I would maybe try this one this is a possibility for me versus the other ones, but they do advertise that you can't have sex with this device. With that being said, I love that. I always say with that being said, but with that being said, this does not replace a contraceptive device. You can still get pregnant using this. You can still get an STD while using this. And this could possibly, could possibly, just like anything in your vagina while having sex, this could possibly lower the efficiency of a condom if you're using that for preventative reasons for STDs or pregnancy. So just keep that in mind. Remember that please 
have safe sex. I don't care who you are, how old you are, what gender you are, have safe sex. Always, 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 okay? Not a replacement for birth control. Not a replacement for STD prevention. Got it? Okay, there you have it. There are all of the things I think that I wanted to say to you guys. That's all that I have on my list. If I'm forgetting something, I will leave it below here or I will mention it on Instagram or things like that. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them below. Nixit is pretty responsive on their Instagram, I noticed. They, you know, if you have any issues, we'll talk to you there. You can also email them. They probably have other social media platforms that you can contact them with. They do, like I said, have that refund. I do air quotes because I'm not 100% sure about the refund and it's kind of vague on their website, but it does sound like they want to work with you if it doesn't work. I think it's worth it. It's a, it's it was it was really great. It was really great. Like I I put this to the test, guys. I put out of all devices, this one got the most testing. Two soccer games in a row, yoga with a period thong. <laughs> um this this got tested. So I highly approve, I highly, highly approve. I really hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope it answered any questions that you might have had or curiosity that you had over it. I will toss you guys all in my next video. If you have a suggestion on a period product that you would like me to try out, leave them below. I will be working this month on my favorite period products. So that'll be you know coming up for you guys hopefully soon. I will try to work on that next week with my endometriosis update video. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you, Nixit, for sending me these cups. I really appreciate it. And again, if they want to call themselves a menstrual cup, let them call themselves a menstrual cup. I just call them a non-suctioning menstrual cup. I think, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Bye.